Election day is nearly a week away. One of the biggest local elections is that for Wisconsin's 32nd state Senate seat, occupied by Democrat Jennifer Schilling. News 8's Eric Jacobson joins us with a preview of that race. Lisa, three candidates are vying for Wisconsin's 32nd state Senate seat. Independent candidate Chip Denure, Republican Dan Kopanke, and incumbent and Democratic candidate Jennifer Schilling. All three offer different views on things like education and infrastructure, and they are hoping to use tomorrow's debate to share those plans with the voters. Incumbent State Senator Jennifer Schilling defeated Republican Dan Kopanke in one of nine recall elections in 2011. Much of the race had to do with Act 10, a bill restricting the union rights of public workers. Kopanke voted for the measure at the time and says it's making a positive difference in the state. Since uh, Act 10, uh, taxpayers here in Wisconsin have saved over five billion dollars. That's that's real money. Those things matter. Uh, the things that I'm talking about matter to the, the residents uh, of the 32nd. So we need to talk about that. But Senator Schilling says schools have been hit particularly hard by the law's effects. We are seeing more schools having to go to referendum because we are not make, meeting our state's commitment in education. We are seeing teacher shortages in school districts. Both Schilling and Gapanke also hope to work on infrastructure, like roads and bridges, in the next legislative session. They hope that process will bring both sides to the table. Talking with leaders in the assembly, that certainly a long-term fix for transportation funding is, uh, is important and it is on the front burner this year. We need to come together, uh, both sides, and uh, come up with a plan that works uh, long-term for the state of Wisconsin as far as roads and, and the bridges are concerned. Independent candidate Chip Denour of La Crosse says his main goal of running is to oppose a potential north-south corridor through La Crosse. It makes no sense to spend $140 million of the taxpayers' money for a highway that most of the people in La Crosse don't want. The candidates are hoping Tuesday's debate will give them an opportunity to speak to the voters. It really focuses on centers on the role of government in the people's lives. Voters should ask themselves as they listen to the three candidates about um, where they want to go. Other issues the candidates hope to discuss in the debate tomorrow is health care as well as creating jobs.